September 3rd, Rhin. France has a king once more. However, as Jean gains influence with the people, jealousy grows within the court. The king's evil advisors now seek to destroy Jean. It's only a matter of time before they succeed in poisoning the king's mind. Jean must hurry to fulfill her mission. Paris, the jewel of France, has been under English tyranny for decades, and French patriots trapped within the city are eager to escape. We are now marching on Paris, hoping that the reinforcements we have been promised will arrive in time. Paris is just ahead. Let us locate the refugees and escort them to the rendezvous point with the king's men. Libé. Certes. Oh yeah.
Royal. Certes. We have rescued the refugees. Now we shall head to the bridge of the Seine River for the rendezvous with the king's men. We should wait here. The king's reinforcement will be along any second. Where are those blasted reinforcements? We are all the king could afford to send. Treachery. The king's wicked advisors won't proceed on the fam. Or worse, we are on our own. We must hurry to Compiègne. We are tired of licking British boots. We follow where you lead, John of Arc.
This time she won't escape!
Dirac. Bibé. Bibé. Dirac. Sech. Bibé. Sech. Bibé. Bibé. Dirac. Oyel. Dirac. Sech. You are victorious, and our peasants are safe. I just hope Jean can make it to the castle. As the refugees fled into the Chateau of Compiègne, Jeanne was trapped outside. Burgundian soldiers knocked her from her horse and paraded around with their prisoner. None of us can sleep, knowing our precious Jeanne of Arc languishes in a Burgundian prison. The soldiers stare at the uncaring sky, condemning themselves for being unable to save her, for being unable to save France. Paris was the first major defeat ever dealt to our army. Had the king sent the promised reinforcements, we would have captured the city. Now, it is France's darkest hour. 